Blessed and most merciful Heavenly Father, we come before you humbly, Lord, and we beg, we plead, Lord, that you be with us, that we be in your will and your grace, that you lead us and guide us in your perfect will. And Lord, we pray, we pray for all of those prayer requests, all of them, Lord, all of them. We pray, we pray, Lord, we pray mighty, powerful prayers for them, Lord. We pray the blood of Jesus touch them and heal them, Lord. And we pray, and Lord, we, we claim, we claim the Word of God. Amen. Because there's power, there's might, there's meaning, there's authority in the Word of God. There's authority in the Word of God. And we claim the Word of God for healing. Yes. And to touch people that need a touch from God. And we pray in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. 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 We're going to do some reading from Revelation. And does anybody, uh, we'll, we'll start with Revelation 19. And does anybody want to read first? I will read first. All right, Revelation 19, starting number one. And after these things, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying, Alleluia, salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord our God. For true and righteous are his judgments. For he hath judged the great whore, which did corrupt the earth with her fornication, and hath avenged the blood of her servants at her hand. And again they said, Alleluia, and her smoke rose up from forever and ever. And the four and twenty elders and the four beasts fell down and worshipped God, that sat on the throne, saying, Amen, Alleluia. And a voice came out of the throne, saying, Praise our God, all ye his servants, and ye that fear him, both small and great. And I heard, as it were, the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thundering, saying, Alleluia, for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Let us be glad and rejoice, and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife hath made herself ready. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. And he said unto me, Right blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, These are the true sayings of God. And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou, do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren, that have the testimony of Jesus worship. Jesus worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Mm -hmm. And I saw heaven open, and behold a white horse. <coughs> and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True. <coughs> and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. His eyes were flame fire, and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written on them that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon the white horse, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword that with it he should smite the nations, and he should rule them with a rod of iron. And he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and the wrath of Almighty God. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of the heavens, Come and gather yourself together unto the supper of the great God that ye may eat the flesh of the kings and the flesh of the captains and the flesh of the mighty men and the flesh of horses and of them that sit on them and the flesh of all men, both free and bond, both small and great. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. And the beast was taken with him, the false prophet that wrought miracles before him with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, and them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone, 
and the remnant was slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, which sword proceeded out of his mouth, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh. I'll read uh, chapter 20. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great <coughs> chain in his hand. And he had, and he laid hold on the dragon and the, uh, that old serpent, serpent, which is the devil, and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, and cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal upon him, that he should deceive the nations no more, till the thousand years should be fulfilled, and after that he must be loosed a little season. And I saw thrones, and they set um, upon them, and judgment was given unto them, and I saw the souls of uh, them that were beheaded for their witnesses of Je witness of Jesus, and for the word of the of God, which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither received his mark upon their forehead or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. But the rest of the dead lived not until uh, the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he that hath part of, that, of the first resurrection. On such the second death hath no power. But they shall be priests of God and of Christ, and shall reign with him a thousand years. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of the, his prison and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. And they went up on the, on the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints above and the beloved city and fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them and the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever and I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up to the dead which were in them and they were judged every man according to their works and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire this is the second death and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire <coughs> do you want to read 21 yes <clears throat> and i saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and first earth were passed away and there was no more sea and I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from heaven, coming from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all the tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne says, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of water of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. 
But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. And there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues, and talked with me, saying, Come hither, I will show thee the bride and the lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain, and he showed me the great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God, having the glory of God, and her light was like unto a stone most, most precious, even like a jasper stone, even as crystal. And he had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. And on the east three gates, on the north three gates, and on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. And the walls of the city had twelve foundations in them, the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city, and the gates thereof, and the walls thereof. And the city lieth four square, and the length is as large as the breadth. And he measured the city with the reed. 12,000 furlongs, and the length and the breadth and the height are, of it are equal. And he measured the wall thereof as 140 and 4 cubits, according to the measure of a man, that is, of the angel. And the building of the wall of it was jasper, and the city was pure gold, like unto clear glass. And the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manners of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third chalcedona. Chal I just guessed that. Okay. The fourth an emerald, the fifth sardonyx, the, the sixth sardis, the seventh chrysolite and the eighth barrel, the ninth a topaz, and the tenth chrysoporus, the eleventh jacometh, and the twelfth amethyst. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Every set, several gate was one of pearl, and the street was a city was pure gold, as it were transparent glass. And I saw no temple therefore, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. And the city had no need of the sun, neither, neither of the moon, to shine in it, for the glory of God did lighten it. And the Lamb is the light thereof, Amen. and the nations of them walk, which are saved shall walk in the light of it, and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night there. Wow. And they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it. And there shall in no wise enter into anything that defileth, neither whatsoever working worketh an abomination or making a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. Wow. Amen. 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 In heaven. There is no need of sunlight, not for light, not for warmth, because God, the righteousness of God, radiates the light that we need and the warmth that we need in heaven. There's no Walmart in heaven. There's no banks. There's no money. There's no, there's no, never a tear is ever shed in heaven. And we will be in young, glorified bodies and we will live forever. Everything. Our, we have our flesh here. And a lot of times our flesh will tell us to do things or we want things or we need things. When, when, when we don't really think about yeah. what God really wants. Mm -hmm. right. But in heaven, we don't, we don't have none of that. We don't have flesh that tries to tell us things. Everything we need, everything we need is supplied by God. There is no Walmart. There is no money. We walk on streets of gold. So what does that tell you? Gold is worth. It's paving stones in heaven. <clears throat> yeah. So everything, everything we need in heaven is supplied by God. Everything. God knows our needs here. We don't, we don't need atmosphere. We don't need air to breathe. 
but there will be air. Wow. And we will breathe, but we don't need air to breathe. Wow. 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 We don't need food. We don't require food. We don't need food to live. We live forever, but yet we will eat. Wow. For and and we will we will be in perfect glorified bodies. There won't be anybody that will have any deformities, any, any abnormalities. There won't be anybody that will have hearing problems, eye problems, knee problems, all of that stuff. Everybody is perfect because God is perfect. And everything in heaven is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And for some people, <coughs> some people that, that are so in tune with the world and so transfixed on the world, they just can't let go and let God take control. They, they have to be in control of everything themselves. Mm -hmm. and, and for some people, that's the hardest thing in the world to, is to let go and let God supply everything. Let yeah. God give you everything, everything that you need. Yeah. But, in, but in heaven, we have to let go. We have to let go of everything, everything. Because there, we're in glorified bodies. I mean, and God supplies everything. He supply, supplies our sunlight, mm -hmm. and He supply, supplies our heat. Mm -hmm. He supplies everything, every need, every need, every want, everything that, that we need. But it won't supplies. be a thought because it'll just be there. And, and in heaven... See, here we have a lot of questions, and we read through the Bible, and, and we pick up certain things, and we study it, and sometimes the Holy Spirit will reveal things to us, and sometimes we read something, and it, it's kind of like a light bulb goes off in our head, and we go, oh, I never realized that before. Mm -hmm. But in heaven, if you have a question about anything, it'll just be revealed to you. It, it, it's just given to you. Wow, well, that would be amazing. But there are no secrets in heaven. Amen. There are no secrets in heaven. And, and in our glorified bodies, we will, we will have the same bodies, the, the same body that Jesus has. Now, we will not have the powers that Jesus has, okay? Because he can do certain things that we cannot do. But we will be like Jesus. We will be like Jesus in a glorified body. And, and we will be young forever, forever and ever. It's hard to fit into your brain. And, and there's, there's a lot of... There's a lot of people out there that claim that you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to say certain things, you have to do certain things. But I want to remind people that, that when Jesus, when he was crucified, he, he was crucified with a man to his right and a man to his left. And one of those men, he said... I, I can't remember it verbatim, but basically he said, you know, we're being crucified because we're guilty. We're guilty. We're right. guilty. We, right. we deserve punishment. Right. But this man, he's innocent. He's innocent. He, he didn't commit any crime. He's being crucified, put to death, and he's innocent. And Jesus told him that as of this day, he says, you, you will be with me in, in my paradise. Because he recognized the Son of God. Because he, he, he claimed that Jesus was innocent yeah. and, and he yeah. basically repented of his sin by saying, yes. we're guilty. We deserve to be punished. Yes, yes, yes. Now, he didn't plead the blood of Jesus. Yes. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't, get he, baptized. Didn't, he didn't pray a prayer. He didn't get baptized. But yet Jesus said, as of this day, today, you will be in paradise. He recognized he, 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 he paid the penalty for he sin. Did. He, he, in a, he, in a way, he repented of his sin. Yes. Right yes. And Jesus yes. saved him. Yes. So, so all these people that claim that you have to be baptized, you have to do certain things, you have to work to earn your way to heaven. No. You, you, you don't really. You have to love the Lord. Well, I mean, you, you build up rewards by working, you know, for the Lord. Okay. Yes. And, and, and we're supposed to work for the Lord. We're supposed to testify. We're supposed to, to pass out books and Bibles and, and you know, and and test, give a testimony to, to the you know, people that are lost. Basically, right, right. we're supposed to spread the good news of the gospel. Mm -hmm. But that man on the cross that hung there with Jesus, he, he was free. And and the same thing happens with with people that's on their deathbed. They lived their whole lives in sin, but on their deathbed, and maybe minutes, maybe hours 
away from, from, from passing away, from dying, okay? They finally come to the realization, you know, I, I really messed up. I really messed up. And they repent of sin, and, and they, they get forgiven of their sins. They didn't do anything special. They didn't do any special works. They didn't get baptized. They, but, but yet they were accepted into the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. Amen. So, it's all about sincerity. It's all about your faith and, and believing in Jesus Christ. Believing in the, in the gospel that, that Jesus, that he was put to death on the, on the old wooden cross. That he was buried. He, he rose from the grave on the third day. Amen. And that he ascended up to heaven. Amen. Now sits on the right hand of the Father. Awaiting his glorious and triumphant return. So are we. Amen. Bobby, you want to read uh, the last chapter? Chapter 22. Okay. <clears throat> and he showed me a pure river of water of life. Clear as crystal. Proceeding out of the throne of God. And of the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it. And on either side of the river was the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for healing, or, excuse me, for the healing of nations. And there shall be no more curse, <coughs> but the throne of God and the Lamb shall be in it and his servant shall serve him. And sh they shall see his face, and his name shall be, shall be in their foreheads. And there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of sun. For the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. And he said unto me, These saints are faithful and true, and the Lord God of the holy prophet sent his angel to show and to his servants of things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the saints of the prophecy of this book. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Then saith he unto me, See thou, do it not, for I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren of prophets, of them which keep the sayings of this book, worship God. And he says unto me, Seal not these sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still, and he which is filthy, let him be filthy still, and he that is righteous, let him be righteous still, and he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according to his work shall be, I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end and the first, and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, and they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs, and sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murders, and idolaters, and whoever loveth and maketh a lie. I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offering of David and the bright and morning star. And the spirit and the bright say, Come, and let him that heareth say, Come, and let him that is ours come, and whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. For I testify unto every man that heareth these words of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add to these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of this book, of this prophecy, God will take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city. 
and from the things which are written in this book. <coughs> he which testifies these things say, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Amen. How many Amen. times in that chapter on does it say, I come, I come quickly. quickly? Yes. I mean, several times. Over and over, yes. Yes. And verse 4, and it says that, uh, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. Yes. And they shall see his face. We will see Jesus face to face. And I believe that Jesus will hold us in his arms, each wow. and every one of us. Each and every one of us. Wow. Because there is no time in heaven. I mean, <coughs> a hundred, a hundred, 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 trillion, trillion, trillion years is only scratching the surface mm -hmm. of the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Praise Jesus. So, I mean, there, there is no time in heaven. No, never a clock, never a time. Anybody else, anybody else have a comment? Wow. Behold, I come quickly. Yeah. And blessed is he that keep the sayings of this of the prophecy of this book. It's not a fear, but you know, when you we get called up and he takes us. I suppose there's certain people that we wanted to see that are not up there. Maybe we won't think of that. We'll just be so glorified and happy to see Jesus we won't even think of it. I think in heaven. It, it says that God will wipe away every tear, and it's human nature to worry about your loved ones. But I think, I think God, I think He wipes those memories out of your mind. I think all of the stuff that that's here on this earth, I think all of this that's left here, I think God erases it from our mind. This is for and the form I, I don't things think, that passed away. Yeah. <coughs> Yeah. The former things. Yes. It says right there. Mm -hmm. But the when you get things. to heaven, you know your mother was a godly woman and she'll be there. But you won't fret looking for her. You won't fret looking for her. She'll probably walk up to me and give me a big hug. And yeah, but what I'm saying is you won't yearn. If you see the person, you'll be thrilled and happy. But you won't, <coughs> you won't fret if you don't see her right away. Because there's no fretting and upset. Oh, no, 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 no. So. In heaven, everything is perfect. I, Every, what I is think perfect. is amazing is when we have Bible studies and we pray for those who are sick, when we pray for the lost, when we pray for people all over the world, and we don't know who they are, but God does. God does. And those prayers touch them and they transform them. Yes. When they get to heaven, they're going to know who prayed for them. Yeah. That's going to be, the, that that is going to blow my mind, that blows my mind right now. Because that's God's purpose for us, is to pray for the lost, to pray for our families, to pray for the sick, to pray for the orphans and the widows, and, yes. and, and to find out that our prayers, that we prayed for somebody that we didn't know, or even those we did know, would gain eternal life through those prayers, because after we pray, then Jesus prays. He prays for us. He's our high priest in heaven, that, that he knows our weaknesses, he knows everything about us. So he, he, he takes our prayers before the Father. He takes our prayers before the He's Father. He's our intercessor. He, he, and it's, it's just amazing how many people of different nationalities and tongues, and we'll all speak one language. Mm -hmm. Hebrew, all, I think. That perfect <laughs> language are going to know who has prayed for who. And that's the bond of love. That is love right yes. there. I, 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 have, I have told people, <laughs> and, I, and I've said this numerous times, mm -hmm. that... I prefer prayers over money. I have some people that you know that tell me that that they don't have much money and they'll send me five dollars or something like that, and I'll That's tell them, wonderful. you know, I, I I would prefer your prayers yes. over your money. I really yes. would, yeah. and I'll tell you why. That is that 
prayers, they never expire. They never grow weak. They never yes. fade away. They go yes. to the prayers yes. go directly to the throne yeah. room of God. Yes. yes. And he never forgets. No. And when we go to heaven, those prayers follow us to heaven. Oh, and wow. and they, they turn into blessings. Oh, wow. Those prayers become blessings in heaven. And we're so blessed. So, so that's why I prefer prayers. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Prayers will get me further than cash in the bank. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it really will. Yes. 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 I would much rather be in the will and grace and be poor than have all the money in the world. And not know Jesus. And not know Jesus. Yeah. I love that. That was real nice. I like yeah. That. Yeah. 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 Amen. I just want to see Jesus. I just want to be there more than my own life here. I just, I just, and I can't even put it into words. People need to understand that even if they have a ministry, and even if they feed the poor, and even if they do all these wonderful things, if their motive behind <coughs> it is not pure, yeah. if their motive behind it is not showing love, and giving honor to God, then none of these things that they're doing is going to add up to a hill of beans. God will not recognize it. Yeah. He will not recognize it. It's it's our worship should be pure and unadulterated before the Lord. Yeah. For the Lord. And the, the and Bible says that, yes. that our works before the Lord yes. without love is is nothing but a pile of dung. Yeah. Wow. We have to have we have to have faith wow. and love yeah. and charity. Yep. And we can't do anything for personal gain no. and not for people to recognize you and say, Oh, what a wonderful yeah. person you are, what a good person. Because there's only one good person. Yeah. And that's Jesus Christ. You know, back last summer when things were going a little better. I prayed and I asked I asked the Lord, I says, you know, Lord, I, I drive this old beat up seventy six Chevy pickup. I says, it doesn't have any mirrors. I says, it doesn't have any heat. It doesn't have any air conditioning. I says, you know, it's, it's getting hard on me to drive that truck, especially in the summertime. I've got to go to the post office in different places. And I, and I prayed about getting another truck. Not a new truck, just a different truck, right. a little newer. And basically the Lord told me that I didn't have time. Wow. He says, Terry, a little while longer. Wow. So... That's why I still have my old pickup. And it still runs. It still runs. It's a good running truck. Gets me from place to place. It does. What I, I think need. what the Lord is trying to do with us is condition. He is putting us through the fire. Mm -hmm. He's conditioning us even mm -hmm. more and he's trying he's getting trying to get us to a place where we're so refined that nothing in this world matters except Jesus, that's all we're getting. Just ready Jesus. Yeah. Got to get ready to be with Jesus. That's but He it. wants a humble and contrite spirit. Yeah. He wants us to give all of our. Yeah. He wants us to give up our will, and I think that's one of the hardest things for people to do, is to give up their will. But when you say that Lord's prayer, let Your will be done, Father. Let Your will be done. We're saying that none of us in all of Jesus, none of us, well, would give up everything for Jesus and his kingdom. He says, keep seeking first the kingdom. Keep seeking first the kingdom and all other things. And all I need to be taken yep. care of. Everything else to be taken care of. Right. Nothing you know, else matters. It's it's a little bit ironic and it's a little bit prophetic if you think about it. But Jesus was born in a manger in an animal stall, basically, yes. in, in yes. Bethlehem. The uh, Azusa Street Mission and Revival, the one that was started in yes. Los yes. Angeles yes. back in 1906. That, the Azusa Street Mission on Azusa Street, it was a, it was a former stable. Wow. It was a former stable. And don't you think it's a little bit ironic that Jesus would shower down his presence, his glory on, on this stable for a revival that basically changed the world. I mean, they, they sent out missionaries all over the world from Azusa Street. They really did. Because he and doesn't a, see a, the outward. Yeah. He sees the hearts that yeah. are in the building. 
and, the heart. and there's a, a lot of the uh, uh, the churches that are well established today. I mean, the Methodist Church, the uh, Assembly of God Church, the I think uh, and several other well-known churches. They came out of Azusa Street, wow. but over the years, the, the people that founded the church they died off, and new people took it over, mm -hmm. and so they started changing things, mm -hmm. and so they they fell away. They fell away from the Word of God. So. Wow. Yeah, some of them are, are welcoming things that are an abomination to yes. God. Yes, yes, they are. Total abomination. Yeah, they are. But the Bible does say that those who endure. Doesn't say those who skip along, yeah. those who are prospering, but those who endure to mm -hmm. the end are the mm -hmm. ones that are going to be saved. Amen. And he's he's got a very it's, small remnant. It's not a faith. No. It's not a religion. No. It's not it's not a preacher. No. It's not me. It's it's the word of God. The word of God. It's a relationship and it's, with and it's Jesus, Jesus Christ. And it's Jesus yes. Christ. Yes, it's a relationship with Jesus. That's that's what's going to save people. Yes. Not me. <clears throat> not a preacher. Yeah. Not a faith. Yeah. But but Jesus and the Word of God. Accepting That's the what's Lord going to save, save people. And repenting of all their sins. Yeah. Daily, yeah. too. Not just I mean, once. I remind people, you know, not don't follow me. Once. Follow Jesus. Yes. Follow Jesus. Follow and His God. Word. His Word in the King James people Bible. People need to be sober and alert, as the Bible says. Yes. Sober these, and alert. And these. the reason why you got to be sober is there's so many religions, or so many teachings that are infiltrating in the churches, yeah. On TV, on YouTube, yep. that are not speaking the word of God and their doctrines from and demons. Unfortunately, yeah. Their doctrines from demons. And that's why we need to so, stay in the word. So when you stay in the word and you listen to it, it quickens your spirit and you go no more and you yep. click it off. Yeah. 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 Only, only the word of God. And, and, and that was a video that I did here uh, uh, about ago. a week or so ago. Yeah was titled the word of God yeah. because the word of God is is very important it's very important and uh, it was it was there in the beginning and I read here in Revelation and where it says that uh, a, a, a sword proceeds us out, out of the mouth of Jesus and exactly. he, he slays yeah. slays all the armies of Satan that sword that comes out of the, out of Jesus's mouth it's is not a physical sword. God. It's the word of God. It's the word of it's God. It's the word of God. The yeah. word of God slays yeah. that army. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. What's Amen. the Bible say that the sword is is like a the, the word of God is like a two edged sword, yes. piercing soul and spirit. Yeah. It convicts people. Yeah. It convicts them. Yeah. And nothing they do in their life. This is the next paragraph says it. That nothing is hidden from God's eyes. Everything is uncovered. Yes. And everything is laid bare. Yep. No he sense in line. No. He no knows the line. He knows it. And the intention. And, and that's why I'm so adamant about not changing the word of God. Mm -hmm. So. And I tell people that just because you have an NIV or a New King James Version Bible, it doesn't mean that, that you can't get saved and, and can't make it to heaven with one of them Bibles. But there's so much in it that, that it twists the Word of God. They take certain words out. Why would you take the Word God out of a Bible 66 times on average? Well, why? Mm -hmm. and, and they took the Word Jesus out 44 times on wow. average. Uh, they take the word blood out. They take wow. and and, and the, there's no remission of sin without the, without the blood of Jesus. Wow. So I want to read it in its entirety. I don't want anything missing. Yeah, I mean that's that's me. Well, I didn't learn this until I met you. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. But God was teaching us little by little but, and yeah. showing us the, the truth. Showing the word, the of the is, word of is, God is it's important. It is. And there's power. There's authority. There's might. Yeah. There's there's right. And you know, and, and I'm not saying that, that you can't get to heaven by following one of those other Bibles, but mm. if you have a choice, why? And and for those other Bibles you pay extra for them because they're copyrighted. So somebody one, wrote them to make okay. money. So uh, if one of them makes it a little more understandable, have the King James with you. 
that way you can compare. Well, if, if, if you just really get hung up on a verse in the King James Bible and you just can't fathom it, it. Yeah. you know, you could go to one of those other Bibles and look up that particular verse and see what it says in that Bible. But but can you trust it? That, that's my that's my problem. Well, if, if you know the meaning of the word. Because a lot of times these people that wrote these Bibles, they weren't even no, I know. religious. They, they, they weren't, weren't inspired. inspired by God. They, they weren't, didn't, weren't filled with the Holy Spirit. So, so you can't trust no, their I interpretation. Know. I know, but if you're reading a specific verse and you understand what the words mean, and when you read it in the King James Bible, it kind of means the same thing, then you can... But if it's so misread and it doesn't make any sense, then no, go back. And... I, I've read I've read some verses in some of these newer Bibles yeah. that was actually more confusing, yeah. and, and it was harder to understand. And they claim these new Bibles are, are easier to understand, but some verses are totally out there. You, you don't even know what they're talking about. You know, this this, and I'm not going to mention the name of the groups yeah. that I listen to. But they don't read from the King James Bible. It's the NIV. Mm -hmm. But they give you an option on the site to change to whatever Bible you want to follow. Wow. Mm -hmm. So when they read it, it is so far different from the King James Bible to the NIV. You can't totally follow, you different. Can't follow it. Uh, I mean, you could. I could follow it, but you it takes follow. a lot. To follow it, oh, mm -hmm. no. to concentrate of where they are coming from, and some of the words that were replaced that are in the King James Bible just doesn't have the power like the King James Bible does, yeah. and it yeah. doesn't. It's it's not God's word. It's it's when, like when you, Tony said. It's somebody that just you know <coughs> can make money. <laughs> when when you change when you change the word of God. You change the word of God, even if it's only one word. You can change the meaning of it. If you delete one word, yeah. you can change the, the entire meaning of, the whole, of, of a whole sentence, of yeah. a whole Perfect. verse. One word can change one everything. One word can change everything. Yep. So it, it's just not it's just not safe. It's not working. <laughs> you know, I, I'd rather go back to the original King James Bible. And there is a Bible that's before the King James, and it's what they call the 1611 King James Bible. Wow. And, and th this this modern King James Bible was translated off that original King James 1611 version Bible. Mm -hmm. But I don't read Old English very well. Oh, I don't either. And uh, so for me to try to read one of those, it, it's extremely hard for me to understand and, and try to decipher what it means. Mm -hmm. And... They stayed really, really close with with the King James Bible mm -hmm. as to that 1611 King James Bible. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm I'm all for the King James Bible because it's really close. But if you if you want something that's even purer in the Word, I'd have I'd recommend somebody read the uh, King James Bible, the, the original 1611 version. Well, but it's like I said, it's really, really hard to decipher. Somebody would have to have some really good because it's written in old English. Yeah. Wow. 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 Why would somebody want half truths when they can get the whole truth? Because, and you have concordances you could look up. You could. You got. You got Strong's dictionary. There's so many things, yeah. and God wants us. To get a better understanding and we have the Holy Spirit too yeah, yeah. we have the Holy Spirit so if we get stuck on a certain paragraph or a certain line or there's certain areas because nobody's going to understand a thousand percent no, of the Bible no, no. No. we're always learning so when we get stuck on something we just sometimes you just need to take a breath stop pray about it. pray pray about it and if you don't get an answer pray about it again yep. put it aside because maybe it's not the Holy Spirit may say, you're not ready for that little bit of tidbit. Yep. Because you only get the enlightenment of the Holy Spirit when the Holy Spirit says you're ready to receive. Mm. So it's, it's, um, it's, there's really no trick to it. There's just really no trick to it. But it's, there's a lot of scriptures that I got 
really stoked on. I looked at it and I said, I've read this over and over and over and I never read it like this before. And I prayed on it, didn't get an answer, prayed on it, didn't get an answer, and I let it go. And then I read it again and I go, oh, <laughs> it just, it was time. It was time. It yeah. was, it's amazing. It's amazing. I'm going to read this one verse. It's uh, chapter Revelation 22, chapter 7. Oh, and it says, saying. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Yes. Doesn't say the NIV. Doesn't say the New King James <laughs> Version Bible. Yes. Yeah, Doesn't cool. say the uh, TLV or S -I -S -A -T or UVA or... It doesn't say... They're, it, they're being well, funny over there. <laughs> they got so many Bibles out there. They, they now have a, a transsexual Bible. They oh, have a, oh. a lesbian Bible. They oh, have a gay Bible. Oh, oh. So, oh. and I don't want to get into that too yeah, deep. Yeah, don't do but, that. But I'm just saying, you, you run the gamut oh. from, from the ridiculous to the sublime. And the sublime is the, like the 1611 There's, and then the King James oh Bible. Oh, my word. Oh, oh. Yeah. And you can't forget so, the Bible that... That um, Trump is pushing. Oh no! Are oh you yes, it's me? listen. It's the King James Bible, but it has all his promotional stuff in it. It's it's not to give God glory; it's to give Him glory. And a sixty nine ninety nine. Trump. Anybody with a computer can write their own Bible. Trump is not the new oh, God. Oh, no, so forget it that. Was just to let you know for sure. There's 55 versions of the Bible out there. Oh, good gravy. No. I've heard there's over 100. Well, on, on, on right here, it says <coughs> in, English, in English, 55 versions of the Bible. Oh, my goodness. That's a lot. Ooh. That's a lot. Man. It's... That's so... Um... And how many, how many churches... I don't have enough room in my house. How many churches have... Pastors reading from the King James Bible. I think if I did a survey, if I did a survey and went around to every church in Arkansas, I'd say if you got fifteen percent reading from the King James Bible, it's a lot. It, yeah, it, you it, might have that, and then use something else besides. Because I would say in Dardanelle, Dardanelle alone, you'd be lucky to find one church. Oh, I, I don't believe. I, I mean, I believe it. I, right. I truly. They say this is the Bible Belt. I'm sorry, this is not the Bible Belt. This is not the Bible Belt. Well, I told you, God, God put on my heart, okay? And I'm going to go around to every one of the churches and face each pa each each <laughs> pastor face to face, and I I want an answer. Tell us, tell me the truth. Because yeah. I got I got questions about a lot of things. You know, when people... And that's why people stop, a lot of people, stop going to church because of that. Yeah. When people go before the king, and they actually think that they were reading out of a, a translation that was inspired by God. Oh. It says, if any man shall take it away from the words of the book of the prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. There's so many people going to be dragged into hell yeah. because they just, they're going to say, well, we did this for you, Lord. We did that for you, Lord. We yeah. did this for you, Lord. And he's going to look at them with such disdain. Get away from me, you workers of lawlessness. Get away from me. Well, I, I know it's strong words, but nothing else comes to mind. Uh, these people that write these new Bibles... They either make God out to be either inept or a liar. But that's just the way it is. 